Let's see if the key unlocks the boxcar. What happened to my man's uh, flashlight? We got nothing. Up. Still need to go up. I guess because the lights are on, that's probably why we're not using flashlights. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Thanks, man. You're lucky I'm more quick on the draw than this guy. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason Jaime never made starter on our football team. Yeah. Coach was a jerk. You keep telling yourself that, bud. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> he probably better go tell his dad. Other people. This Frank Stone dude's crazy. Nineteen sixty two. It's crazy. Stone's victims never found her. They never found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. <laughs> Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, 
I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Finish looking around for what? I don't want to find anything else in here. We already got those two things. So I don't know if there's really anything else anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. wait outside until Robert comes back. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. Can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. You can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. I may. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there, promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> Is there a reason I should be? You?
Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? <clears throat> Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Yo, what just happened in the last section? Was Jaime supposed to die? I feel like if he'd have fleed, then what would that have done? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't make the wrong decision. Because I feel if, if he fleed, then maybe he'd have survived, but Chris still wasn't going to. Alright, we got another key. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Of course, nothing on the back. see anything else unless there was something on the table yep I think we got everything. This, I believe, will open that cabinet down here. I'm wondering if why Madison said she didn't, or Maddie said she didn't meet her Uncle Jaime is because he died, so maybe he was supposed to. Hmm. Something's missing. Oh, that's that tree. Well, let's go get that. I don't remember where it was. I think it's downstairs?
At least I hope that's where it was. Yep, there it is. You're coming with me, buddy. What's this? Some sort of toy hammer. Looks like it should go with something. Alright, so we gotta find a place to put that. I think maybe over here, because it said it was missing something. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads and heads. Yeah, see, that's the tree, so I think it has to be what's on that painting. Yep. Huh. That was not so bad. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Hmm. There's that mask. But we know why she has that. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly for sure. Something over there in the corner. Hey, Linda. Check this out. This whole place is like a film set. Acadian demon. Supernatural power. All right, let's get this before we do anything else. Where we have witnessed are witnessing 
some sort of protest or I don't know. All, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place. And several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my. Oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line has been broken. And, uh, I can't see anything. I, oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Clearly, the film... Because you saw the camera when Chris was filming the hand. So... It definitely got possessed. Well, that's cheery. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, look... You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd-pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> A little wager. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. Well, I call it or no deal. All right. What's it going to be? Tails. Tails. <laughs> Crap. I believe we had a deal. There's not really much to tell. I won in a bet from a real down on his luck guy. But now he's dead. So. He's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. R Robert Green? Sounds right. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Poor Robert. What happened to him? From what I gathered, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. Never shut up about how much his dad fucked up his life. Anyways, there you go.
Interesting. Well, at least we got that piece now. I thought he was going to be connected to Chris somehow, but then after we saw what happened to her, I didn't think so. Interesting. All right, that's not going anywhere. What is this? Like, you can move this thing? This is... No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Oh, I think you had to use the... What? Sheriff Green? I didn't really want to hit him anyway. I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean... He, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie. Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Thanks, but probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? <sighs> Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Yeah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. <laughs> None of that. 
Lest you count my many unrequited love affairs with long dead authors. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that I'm a corpse crusher? That this town's not worthy of you. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. More stuff to track down. Second my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Mix shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one, then. Yeah. Oh, this is our, our box. We gotta find something to get that trinket. Now, I don't know, can she jump? It doesn't pop up that you can. I feel like you need... You need a crank. Is there anything over here? It's just a light. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I assumed with there wasn't going to be another opportunity to come back here. I thought it was lost because I didn't go look around the first time. So let's try to get it.
I don't think this door, it didn't work the last time, yeah. So we need to go over and down. This way. Oh no. Hi. Hi, Money. Hi, man. Monito. No, 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 no. He's not. Linda, he's not, he's not breathing. No, 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 no. Ah! How could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but we, we know what happened. Bonnie, we should find out what happened from Chris and Robert. I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. Oh, shit. Look. What? What is it? This is... This is like what Frank Stone did with his... With his... Oh, shit. This might be some kind of copycat thing. We gotta go. No, no, I can't leave Jaime. Bonnie, we gotta go. Right now. Escape the weapon shed. You have to use the camera that? as a weapon. I gotta find a way out of here. Lower the scissor lift. saw this path, so you knew you were going to have to go through here.
Oh, it's right there. Well, that's fun. Gotta find. We only need one part. Is there like multiple ways around? Aha. What's this? Well, obviously, that's gotta be it. So we can go back this way. It's coming. Shit. Thing slow. Fuck. No, it's coming. How do you get up there? this side. Okay. It's gone. Oh god. I need to find Bonnie. Hopefully she's still outside. Oh no. Gotta go get it. I don't know if it's the ones out of order that it doesn't tell you which one it is. I don't know. 
The bad thing is you got to do this again. Alright, not bad. It's like, should we look for anything else? I almost feel like we should just get out of here. It's interesting the camera got possessed, but then it was also powerful enough to defeat him. Miss Castle. been a long time, hasn't it? 20 years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Oh, give me a break. Sam, you really think it's actually cursed? That's not real. How can you even say that after what happened? After what happened? You really don't remember. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening, then, right now? Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... no. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just... tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but... Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? We don't even know what the offer is. We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's... It's pure, malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son 
and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life. Stan told me he won the film strip in an honest wager, and he said that Robert was in such bad shape because of... Because of? Because of you. That's... That's bull. And you know it. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. <laughs> 